name is Lisa Marie Breton Lebreu. I work at the Concordia's Department of Recreation and Athletics. I'm a strength and conditioning coach for the Concordia Stingers. And today we're going to do home workout number 13, which is continuous supersets. We'll work in hypertrophy a little bit. So you're going to need some, a lot of stuff. So this is what you're gonna need for the next few workouts, so keep it handy. You'll need a towel. It can be longer, but at least this length. You need one glider or a cloth or a face towel. I like to have heavy books to fill the bottom of my bag. A few cans. Now the bag, if you don't have this kind of bag with two handles here, it can be two grocery bags, one in each other so it's more solid. Make sure that the handles are also solid. Or a backpack. We'll need a chair and a mat. Okay? So I'm going to show you. So I take two books, actually four of them, to make a nice bottom to my bag because I'm going to choose this bag. I could choose any other bag. To start, I'm going to need a bag that I can hold here. So it can also be the grocery bag. So the bottom is filled and then I'm going to place the cans here just like in workout number eight. Something like 15, 20 pounds should be enough for the first super set. And zip it. Here we go. The towel over there. And that we don't need for now. For the first super set, okay, we're going to work our quads, our pecs, and our triceps. We'll have three exercises in a row that we will complete with minimum to no rest. So it's 15 seconds max between exercises. A1, A2, A3, A1, A2, A3. And you keep going for four sets in a row without stopping or barely stopping. Just enough to transition. So first exercise, you're going to grab the grocery bag and you're going to go into a side lunge. Okay, so grab it and I, when it's heavier, I'm going to save the handles. I'm going to do a goblet and then we'll do one side at a time for 12 reps. When I'm done, feet on the chair push-ups, feet on the chair push-ups. Okay, as many as you can, or 10 to 15 reps, depending how strong you are. If that is too hard, there'll be regular push-ups for 10 or so. And if that's still too hard, you're gonna go kneeling push-ups for go, go hard, 15, 25 reps, okay? When we're done this, we're going to do the dips. Now the dips, if you have shoulder issues, be careful because dips on a chair, I'm not a big, big fan. I prefer dips on two bars just because I don't want my shoulder to be stuck in this position. So when I do dips on a bar, I should move my chest forward and back as opposed to kind of do a shrug. So you have two choice here. Either you place your hands and your fingers will be on the edge of the chair. Bend your knees down, up. That's an easier level. Harder level, down, up. And my back is sliding along the chair. And if this is painful, I'm gonna have you do close grip on the chair. Very close. 15 reps, 10 to 15. And if 15 reps is easy here for boys, guys, you can go on the ground for close grip push up to max out. So the goal is legs, pecs, and then finish hard with your triceps, and then legs, pecs, triceps, four sets. I'll do one set with you. So start now, look at the time on your clock so you can rewind and follow me again for four more sets. I'm gonna do one set with you, okay? So side lunge, we're starting, get ready, grab your bag. Feet parallel, 12 reps on one side. And go, one, and two. And we 
we've been working on that with the stick. Four. We should know by now what to do. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. And I breathe. tension 
Contract your back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. Just enough time. Load your bag. So between 10 and 15, everything between 10 and 20. It did all the pens when I'm wrong. One, two. It all depends on the weight of the bag. So do more if it's lighter. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent, switch sides right away. Shoulder back. Bring that shoulder down and back. Down and back. Five, six, squeeze. Squeeze your shoulder blade. No traps. Don't come here, guys. Down and back. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, to do, all soft on the handles. Uh, just gonna take a few cans off. My biceps are not as strong. Wrap the towel, grip it, and go. 10 to 20. You'll see, I keep everything square. Set number two, one arm shoulder press, 10 to 20, one arm row, 10 to 20, towel, bicep curl, one arm, 10 to 20. Once again, it all depends on the weight. Max out, you want to get some muscle, all right? Super set number three, hamstrings, lower abs, and glutes. You're going to need the chair, you're going to need the mat, and I'm going to need some space at first, I'll back up here, and you're going to need the glider. So get everything ready, and fold it. So we're going to do three exercises. First one will be a single leg glide, hamstring glide. So you go up into a bridge, okay, trust. You're gonna go down, and you, I want you to press on the ground with your heel. Keep your hips square here, and press eight each side. Once that's done, one side eight, one side the other. Toes up, arms here. Fill the space in your low back so I cannot pass my hand pressing the ground. You're going to keep this leg up, slowly lower the other one, and you don't want this one to move, okay? So you don't want this one to go like this as I'm going. Really recontract. 10 reps, then I go one leg, 10 reps the other. Good. I'll move the chair forward, so easier. Feet elevated, elevated one leg hip thrust. Toes up towards me. You're gonna go one leg up, down. Make sure it's 90 degrees here. Up, down. You know what? What I'll do, and maybe you want to do that as well at home. I'm gonna put the edge of my mat, or I can put the chair on the wall so it doesn't slide on me. 
90 degrees. Toes up, 90 degrees. One leg, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten each leg, right? Good. Okay. Let's give us some room. We'll do this, the circuit together. One leg slide, hamstring slide. Eight reps, press on the ground. Get ready. Lift and slide. Press one. Press. You want to create your own tension. Three. Press. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And press hard. Eight. Switch sides. We're getting ready for heavier version, harder version. And one. Press. Press two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work, good work, good work. Bring the mat closer. Straight leg. Ten reps. One, and two, and three. Press on the ground, verify here. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One. Some of you will look like this. It'll be really hard. That's okay. Work on your lower abs. Contract. Ten reps. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place the chair against the wall. I decided it's gonna be easier for me. Get closer. 90 degrees. Toes up. Same leg as first for the glider. Four. Ten reps. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Just put your bum down. Nine. Just touch ten. Other side, you might have to reset, so you have 90. Here we go, one, touch, two, touch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. And that's super set number three. You will feel your hamstring on fire, your glutes on fire, and that's it. Press stop. Repeat for three more sets, four sets total. What do we have next? Core. So I'm going to fold my mat in four, so I have a nice cushion. We have core and calves. Super simple. Okay, it's going to be front plank hold. For one full minute, side plank hold for 45 seconds to a minute. You do them on your knees if it's too hard. Finally, we'll have one leg. Your heel is not allowed to touch the ground. Four, five, six, calf raise. One leg calf raise for 15. So, get ready. We're going to do the front plank hold. I'm going to get my timer right here for a minute. Tough it. If you need to go down in between, go down. If you, if you can start, like I said, level one on your knees, squeeze your bum, and level two on your feet, push up here into your shoulder blades, squeeze your butt. Ready? Two, shoulders back and up. Push your shoulders up, head in line. Squeeze your bum. I'll let you know every 15 seconds. Push into your shoulder blades. You want to touch the ceiling. 15. Head in line. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 30. Halfway there. Push in your neck. 
Squeeze your butt. Fit 45. Squeeze your bum. shoulders. Two. Side plank on your knees. Side plank on your feet. Two. One. Up. Fifteen. Head in line. Move your hips forward. You're on the side of your foot. Your toes are up towards you. Thirty. Let's go for forty-five. more seconds. Ten. Five. And down. Whew. Stand up. No break. One leg calf raise. Your heel is never touching the ground. Fifteen reps. Two. Three. Go on your big toe. Maintain balance. Seven, eight, seven, whoo, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If you can do all fifteen without touching, it's amazing. Two. Never rest your heel on the ground. Go on your big toe. Front, 
reverse. Okay. I could also probably do with the back with a lot less weight. Front. Front is a bit harder. You might want to remove weight. Bent over. Reverse. Reverse. The back is also working pretty well. This back. Rochefort back could work as well. So 10, 10, 10, burn off, 10, 10, 10. I forgot to mention the core, the superset four, it's three to four sets, and this one is three to four sets as well. When I'm done, I put some back, tuck back the weight in the bag, and what I'll do, I'll grab the towel, and I'm going to do the 28 bicep curl. So you come here, you do the bottom range, full extension to the middle. You do seven of those. Four, okay, seven. Then I'm gonna go just in the mid range. So I work in the mid range, slow, seven. Then I go down to the middle, down, up to the middle, sorry, up, middle, up, middle, then finally, full range for seven. So it's seven, seven in the middle, seven in the top part, seven full range, 28 total reps or partial reps. You guys are ready? So for the upright roll, like I said, let's set it up. This one is just for fun. It's always just for fun. The shoulders are always burning when you work them. Those are muscles that are more used more for endurance. Remove some weight. Remember, it's lateral raise, so maybe it's like eight to ten pounds. Just gonna leave the books in it, and we'll see if that's good. Shoulders back, really sideways. One. Two, three, four, Ooh, it's a little heavy, five, six, okay, it depends how heavy it is, I'm just going to do six, one, oh, it's easier, two, three, four, Reverse flies right away because and then I'll remove the weight. Reverse flies. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's too heavy. And six. I'll continue. Take a bit less weight. You want more like 10 reps. One, two, three. I'll do 
with six, still heavy. One. I'm fine with six to 12 to 15. we do all side, one side and then the other and then I did the opposite it doesn't really matter let's do one one if it's heavier go back into the reverse flies because the reverse flies and the lateral raise you're a little bit stronger in those two front raises you're not as strong so you need to remove weight so you might want to do those two remove the weight do the front raises now bicep now bicep, we're gonna add some weight. Don't forget you're doing kind of 20 reps. With the towel. And you'll see from set to set, three to four sets. Okay, bottom part. Bottom, full extension. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Middle. One, two. If the back is this way, four, five, six, seven. Bar up part. Um, to the middle. Up two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God. Full range. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulders back. Six, seven. Woo! Yay! Feel the pump, guys. Amazing. So this is it. We have five supersets to do. Four sets in each superset, back to back to back to back to back, as fast as you can, resting maximum 15 seconds between exercises. Whew. When you're done, feel free to do the stretching routine and or just to breathe and relax. I wish you a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.